Hey guys, Decav13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. <sighs> it's finally time to start the summer event, so let's go and do that, shall we? I've actually been playing this quite a lot on my uh, personal account. I really enjoy the summer event. It's fun. So I'm counting on you again, John. Mash. I'll prepare the ray shift, so wait one moment. Hey, what's wrong, Mash? Uh, no, Senpai. It's nothing. Nothing, but... How to put it, I'm feeling uneasy in a way I've not experienced before. Now that I think about it, we've really had a lot of unexpected ray shifts so far. But what is about to happen is incomparable. Looks like a wondrous, amazing experience. Perhaps not so much a shift as it will be a drift? I'm sorry, that doesn't make any sense. Please don't worry about it, senpai. Mash, are you sick? Let me feel your forehead. Oh, S senpai, what are you... I I'm, I'm fine. My temperature is normal. I'm the same as usual. No, I'm better than usual. A bad premonition, huh? No need for concern, master. This time, I will be accompanying you too. We should assume one or two unexpected events will occur. Meat tastes better when there's some tendon in it. Challenges are more fun when they're difficult. Hmm, I don't think we should expect bad things to happen. However... I agree with her. There's no need for concern. No matter what happens, we will be by your side. Oh, Artoria. Yes, I suppose you're right. And we'll be backing up as much as possible from the command room. Small miscalculations will be instantly fixed. Yes, that's right. Caldea's staff are all intelligent people. I'm sorry, everyone, for saying something strange. Let's do our best as always, Master. Yeah! Good answer. John is getting used to the Celtic style. Okay, preparation complete. Systems are good to go. So, let's go. I'm counting on you as usual. Ray shift start. That's not good. Huh? What the hell is this? Monitor malfunction here, too. Ugh, more trouble as usual. This is bad. What on earth is going on? And hurry up to... I'm trying, I'm trying, but this isn't a simple value fluctuation. It's a trap. There's a big hole in front of our usual ray shift point. We can't fix it with a simple trajectory correction. Really? Then jump. Jump, Romani. Like this? <laughs> I don't think she meant literally, Roman. Doctor goofed around at the wrong time, so I sent him away. Operator, send the anchor. Hurry. We have to at least pinpoint our destination. What, you already did? Nice. Ah, but it's no use. We're... we're drifting! Well... N n nothing like unexpected errors. <laughs> Alright, we got our map. Alright, so, yeah, play event quests to gather resources, uh, expand resource, uh, use expend resources in development quests and progress to the story, exchange resources at the shop for uh, mats and CEs, and when we complete the story for this event, we will get the four-star assassin Sahath. Uh, but she won't actually join our party yet. There's a part two to this after we're done with part one. Once we complete that, we'll be able to permanently add uh, Sahath to your to your uh, team and I get I think that's when we get more copies of her as well during this event this is when we get her uh, ascension materials now the thing I like about this event is that every servant is an event servant like, there, there's no specific servants you need for uh, extra material drops so long as you have a servant of a certain class you will get a, you will get a bonus to a material drop because there's five materials we need. There's water, food, uh, lumber, stone, and iron. 
and each one of the classes corresponds to one of those. Uh, of course, there are some duplicates, but you know, hey. All right, section one, castaways. Now we don't need any of the bonus mats yet, but uh, I mean, you know, I might. Actually, I'll need to switch out homes for this. This is very low difficulty. Oh yeah, I, I spent my courts on the the summer banner here, trying to get a Lancer Tamamo. Horribly failed. However, I did get some event Z's, so I'll be using those. Pie. Sun pie. Oh, Senpai, you're awake. Thank goodness. Foul, foul! Where are we? I don't know. Looks like the ray shift didn't execute correctly. At the very least, I don't think this is our intended destination. Foul! No one seems to be injured, including Foe, who was tagged along once again. Doctor. Doctor? As you can see, we've lost all communications with Caldea. That's why we don't even know where we are. Well, it's not Britain. Just look at these tropical-looking plants. Hmm, right now our problem is... Not where this is, but what lives here. Master, behind you. What? Master, watch out! Cool, monsters. This is an unknown enemy type. It's quite violent, but we have to fight back, mon master. <laughs> I was about to say monster. <laughs> unknown enemies on an unknown land. Now this is getting very convenient for me. Good, good for you, Sahath. <laughs> it's not that great for us. Yeah, actually, uh, spun quite a bit for uh, on the first gotcha for my uh, personal account. Um, I actually ended up getting all four servants that are on raid up right now, which are uh, Ryder Mordred, Lancer Kiyohime, Lancer Tamamo, and uh, Archer and Bonnie and Mary Reed. I actually have and Bonnie and Mary Reed at uh, NP2, so I've been using them and uh, Lancer Tamamo. Oh, I wasted that. I wasted that Buster card. Try to bring up what servants give what a. Bonuses. Because I actually don't remember off the top of my head. It's a big list, though. Now we have the unknown servants. I'm gonna bring this. Actually, it's all lumber. And that means they're all lancers. I think. I don't think I use this. Well, I mean, I, I have the uh, Caldea Combat uniform on, so I, I could just order change to Emmy if this doesn't work out in my favor. <laughs> Servants. 
Here we go. Alright, I'll go over that once we're actually at the materials. Alright. Yeah, it seems we're safe for now. Alright, let's get back to assessing our situation. Yes, let's. Does anyone know anything about this place? Hmm, unfortunately, I have no recollection of this place. Same here. To tell you the truth, I have no idea where this is. At the very least, we are not in Japan. I'm not sure either, but I don't think it's France. I've seen many places, but this doesn't seem to be one of them. It's a nice beach, though. I agree. Definitely relaxing. I just can't pinpoint the location. Don't ask me. The hell would I know? But anyway, more importantly... Sideways glance. <laughs> As I said earlier, this does not appear to be Britain. Apologies for not being able to help more. This should be where we pirates demonstrate our worth. But it's rather difficult since there's no identifying trait anywhere that I can see. What do you make of it, Mary? Hmm, can't really say. I've seen countless beaches like this. But those crabs we just fought? They were a first for me. So lively. <clears throat> yes, Master. I do feel a little uneasy because we can't get in touch with the Doctor in Chaldea, but... With this many servants around, I'm sure nothing can stop... Hey! Hey, hey, hey! I've been standing here forever and you didn't notice me! You went and broke her, oh, my fragile Kokoro! <laughs> Blackbeard. I'm gonna need someone to give me a hug! Sheesh, even my tape himself is gonna go Caribbean smash on you! A whole hour of waiting and all you're doing is staring at the girls! Uh, wait. Actually, I guess anyone would do the same. And thus, so would I. But still, don't ignore me! Notice me! <laughs> Aren't you being a little hasty, Mr. Beard? In situations like this, we must not outshine the others. We may glow, but only discreetly. After all, yes, there are too many attractive ladies gathered here. If we sparkle too much, all kinds of slightly troublesome incidents might occur. Polygamy, swinging, and orgies, to name a few. Don't you think so, Diarmuid? Yes, as expected from my liege. You really understand your... self, well. Really keen observation. Does your cycle always have to start with a skit? I apologize. Despite his behavior, he is rather excited about all this. Yeah, I understand how he feels. To be taken adrift and arrive in an unknown island is nothing sort of dang it's nothing short of dangerous. No, what my lord is happy about is not the adventure that awaits us, but being able to develop a deeper bond with all the heroes here. Sure he is, Diarmuid. <laughs> well, when the time comes, things will happen. We should just enjoy the view, don't you think? The beautiful sea, the gentle breeze, crabs you can't help but run your sword through. It's a curious little beach, isn't it? Crabs have it rough, don't you think? I mean, be only being able to walk sideways all the time and all that? Still, the way they always look their opponent dead in the eye, that strong spirit, something all martial artists should learn from. What about those hermit crabs, eh? Carrying your house on your back like a mobile shut-in. Janako should learn from them. Aw, oh, Karna remembers Janako from CCC. Hmm, it seems the men are all gathered over there. There were more people when we departed, but looks like we got separated. I hope they're safe. I'll ask because we're both pirates. Blackbeard, do you know where we are? Now is not the time, man. Oi, I'm talking to you. Oh, please excuse me. It's just, it's been so long since I last spoke with you, Missy Mary. It's like we're touching each other with our words. It just makes me so excited. Your voice is so irresistible. How do I put it? I like the way it passes through my ears, all slippery yet sticky. That does it. I'm gonna murder him. <laughs> Mary. Yes, let's. We'll cut him into pieces. Wait, wait, wait. You wanna know where about where we are, right? To tell you the truth, I can't just tell. I can't tell just by our current situation. I knew it. He's useless. Now I won't feel bad when I slit his throat. 
Don't jump to conclusions. You really can't judge porn by its thumbnail, you know. That's such a good fucking quote, dude. I was gonna say we might get a better idea if we take a look from the sea. Yes, you're right. We we pirates remember continents by their and their shapes by how they look when viewed from a ship at sea. We're counting on you, Blackbeard. Yes, that's probably the best option we have. What? No way! You're really going to tell me that, Master? I can't believe you're telling the super kawaii Blackbeard to go into the unknown sea alone. I don't even have a ship. I don't want to use my noble phantasm for this. What are you talking about? You do have a ship. See? Isn't that just a plain old log that drifted the beach? A lonely log! Here you go. Now you have an oar, too. It's perfect. That's just a plank! A plain old piece of wood! If I go out to sea with this, I'll die! Me, a servant! I'll definitely die! Uh, shut up already. Why do you even make such a big deal out of this? Fine. If you go, I'll give you a reward. Say what?! He just did a complete 180! Look at that twinkle in his eye! <sighs> reward, Missy Mary? What kind of reward? Let's see. I'll let you touch my body one time. How about that? Anywhere? Anywhere you want. Yes! It's finally my time to shine! Back in a jiffy! <laughs> and out, away he goes. Um, there he goes. Just straddled the log, grabbed the plank, and rode right out. All it took is eight small words. I don't really know what to say. Is this really okay? I'll ask the same thing, but for a slightly different but for slightly different reasons. Is this really okay, Mary? For you? Of course not, but I don't mind. It's just a hunch, but I can feel something abnormal about this sea. I doubt he'll come back in one piece. <laughs> Oh hey, monsters. Again. More enemies! <laughs> Attacking us while we're busy looking at the sea, huh? Looks like the island's inhabitants understand battle. Not by knowledge, but by instinct. Master John, what shall we do? We could always just abandon Mr. Beard and flee. Let's believe in Blackie and run! <laughs> Master, it's wonderful you have faith in Blackbeard's fighting spirit, but that won't do. <laughs> oh, come on, we can just leave him. He'll be fine. We have to take them out, just in case Blackbeard comes back. <laughs> I love how everyone is immediately assuming he won't come back. <laughs> you know, just in case he comes back. Not for when he comes back. <laughs> oh, man. No, I, I like, though, uh, in the My Room, with Summer, Anne, and Mary, one of their voice lines is literally just them shooting Blackbeard, like, shooting at Blackbeard and saying, Oh, don't worry about it, Master, we just want to kill him. Don't, and we can dump his body in the sea to get rid of all the evidence. That's so good. Oh, it's Karna. Uh, eh, uh, Karna should be alright. Not because the last time I did this, I picked the second servant. The second gold servant, and it was just uh, Fion, and you know that—that's not helpful. Fion's not great. <laughs> I mean, I heard he gets somewhat decent a little later when he gets like a skill upgrade, I think. But uh, you know, that's not now. All right, big crab gone. I yeah, finish it with a Holmes chain. Overkill? Yes. Oh, we got a shell. Oh, I have six of them now. I guess I got a couple from grinding saber training grounds. 
I know that's where those- <laughs> that's like the only other place those crabs appear. I don't think I've seen them in the main story once. Although I'm probably wrong about that. They probably appear somewhere. It's really quiet here, senpai. Feels like it's just the two of us here. Ah, uh, and what a nice sky. All those stars shining so bright. It really is beautiful. Yes, I looked up at the sky in other race shift destinations too, but... I think this is the first time seeing so many stars without other light sources getting in the way. I feel a little strange. Since I met you, Senpai, I've experienced many things I never thought I would experience. And see many things I never thought I would see. After all, until we met, Caldea was all I ever knew. Now everything is new and colorful. I'm sorry, Senpai. I don't know what I'm saying. The stars are so beautiful and silent, I guess I spoke without thinking. I'm glad I get to spend time like this with you, Mash. Yes, Senpai. I'm really glad, too. It was an unexpected accident which brought us here. Honestly, there's no telling how things will pan out. At this very moment, however, I feel very lucky to have seen the starry sky with you, Senpai. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I was like got something caught in my throat. Alright, just got one more left. Let's see, we can use Tama, Martha, or Mordred. Uh, let's use Tamamo. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, boy. Actually, I think I'm just gonna move her to the side and bring Emia in. I think I'll... Alright, here... Oh yeah, I actually got quite a few. I got two of the five star event C's. That's actually pretty good. I think give bonus drops of iron. Iron Stone and the Lumber. So I'm probably gonna be having a lot of iron and stone. Oh shit, I forgot to actually equip. Bonus servants for freshwater shops. Although I guess that's good. We do need a lot of those too. Hmm. I kind of expe expected Blackbeard to be back by now too. My blood's pumping. I'm ready for some action. There's nothing to do. What to do? What to do? Oh, aching for some action. Hmm. I'll go around or two with you if you want. <laughs> Martha. What? You're a saint. What, what is going through that head of yours? Look, if I try to kill time with you, the only thing getting killed will be me! I don't want to bad Matthew, my mentor, but try to read the room a little, would you? This ain't the land of shadows where violence rules, so try and, ad try and adapt just a bit, okay? <sighs> Why you? What a flippant disciple. Still, you have a point. <sighs> Good. Now that I shut her up, maybe I'll go fishing. Been a while, but I'm sure it'll come back to me. <laughs> Martha, you don't need to hold back. You can't hide the truth from these eyes. Huh? What are you talking about? We're by the sea, and it's summer. In a place where everyone lets themselves go, I can tell. You're getting really worked up, aren't you? <laughs> no need to keep it all inside. What do you say? Shall we go at it right now? Whoa, Kojiro. Worked up? Go at it? Why, you? That's enough sexual harassment, thank you very much. Alas, that's not what I was getting at. What I desire is the combination technique from you and Tarask. Yeah, Ko Kojiro doesn't think of anything sexual. All he thinks of is just battle. There are no other saints around. I thought you would be able to show me your forbidden technique if there's no one around to mock you. Was I mistaken? Oh, there you go again. Techniques and battle once more. 
Still, it's pretty boring just waiting for the return of our one-man scout party. I need something to keep myself preoccupied, too. Wait. All of your desires are about to come true. Look over there at that shore. Mikon, Really? Yes, Mama. Something is definitely coming. I can see it, too. It's a large group of giant crabs. Um, that's not what I desired. It is impressive how fast they scuttle along with their multiple legs. As a time killer, they're really more than we deserve. Oh, the gods! That's so typical of you, Karna! But still... STILL! The crabs aren't changing course. Seems like we'll just have to fight them. Sweet merciful heaven, it's too hot for this business! Great, but never mind the enemy and their numbers. I mean, look at me! This ain't beach armor, that's for sure. Oh well. Crustaceous monsters from the sea have appeared. <laughs> this kind of feels like old times. Uh, is this what the hack samurai was refer was referring to? <laughs> oh. God. Arm's killing me. I don't know why. Actually, I know why. Fucking work. Ugh. Hurts like a bitch. Oh, whoops. Go on another Ibaraki card. Oh, well. Elementary, my dear, is ready to go again. <laughs> Come on. Well, Ho Holmes has some dedu has some deducing to do against these fucking crabs. I should come to think of it. Hermit crabs aren't technically crabs. They're a type of bug. At least if I if I'm remembering things correctly. Do what I'm about to do. Oh, come on, Ibaraki didn't kill. I, I wasn't looking, so I didn't see how much health she left him with. If it wasn't much, I'm gonna be a little upset. God, I'm really happy with how Holmes is off offensively. He's a very versatile unit, and I feel like he has really good C star generation. Well, not like really good, but you know, pretty good for a ruler. Like the only thing I'm lacking on him right now is like a dedicated like self buff, but I get that with his next skill with Buritsu. Although it only lasts one turn, but you know, still. It's a pretty good arts card buff. I think it's like what, like twenty to thirty percent, depending on the level. And it also grants him evade too. I like Holmes' style a lot. What's that? Over there on the shore. As always, my liege has good eyes. Appears some seaweed washed ashore. Or not. It's a dead body. The man must have drowned and quietly drifted ashore during that frenetic battle. I suppose we should give him proper rights and bury him. Yes to beautiful girls! Hell no to burial! I'm still alive! Twitch, twitch. It's Blackbeard! He came back while we were fighting! Let's ask him what he found out, while we still can. <clears throat> Blackbeard, tell us what you know. Ah, girl's voice penetrates my dizzy head. Ah, that reminds me. The reward. 
Where's my reward? After we hear your report. Now spill. <laughs> You'll be squirming after that, Missy Mary. I bet your heart's already pounding with anxiety and anticipation. I can hardly wait myself. But report first, then fun. Based on my observation of this land from the sea, I don't have a single clue of where we are. The alignment of the stars in the sky makes no sense. It doesn't help pinpoint our location at all. Any other information? Ah, cripes. Me vision is getting blurry. All the blood rushing elsewhere. The open ocean. High, battering waves. Even the tide is complicated and mysterious. Impossible for any ship to make a decent journey. And then... <coughs> oh, it's my fave Dojin. What's it doing here? I thought I lost it. Shiver me timbers. Hey, please don't voyage into the afterlife before you've told us everything. Reward. If only I had my reward. I could hang in there. I guess we don't have a choice. Oh, Blackbeard. I'm so impressed that you made it back here. Monotone. Nice recon. You're the greatest pirate that ever sailed. I'm so in awe. Yay. <laughs> Mad Mary's great. Uh, y yay? I kinda wish we saw more of Anne and Mary and Okeanos. Mary just reached out to the trembling Blackbeard and he responded. Like a high five. There, you touched me. That's your one touch. I held my end of the bargain, now keep talking. <laughs> very, very nice, Mary. Oh. oh. Even while I'm trembling in despair, you appeal to me with a touch of a wee soft palm. Despair. I despair. I, the fearsome Blackbeard, will show you all the true meaning of despair. He's suddenly gone to serious mode. <laughs> I figured out after investigating this land from the sea. The final conclusion. This is... A desert island. <laughs> la 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 la. A desert island. Impossible to escape. A harem lifestyle is inevitable. Men will be mobbed by the ladies. And yet... And yet why? I'm the one who worked the hardest, yet I can't participate! That's like RNG luck! You've trampled on my dearest wish! May blood stain this world! May the holy G cup be cursed! And away he goes. Strange. I suddenly feel a deep affinity to him. Please don't. How unfortunate. He didn't make it after all. Going by what he said, it doesn't sound like a normal ocean. And a desert island. Communications with Caldea are down. And it's just us on a desert island in the middle of who knows where. Just... Just what are we supposed to do in a situation like this? Oh, man. We have quite a thing ahead of us, don't we? Quite a trial ahead of us. That's what I was trying to say. Oh good, I can rewatch these in my room. Alright, cool. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of off-screen shit in this event. Alright, life is beautiful. You know what, let's use Anne and Mary. I feel like bringing them along. Uh, once I heard there was no one here, I think this island started to feel even hotter. I think foxes shine brightest when there's snow and cold. Don't you, master? My poor tail is soaked with sweat. You know what I'm talking about, right, foe? 
Oh. The food we took with us when we left is almost gone. Even if we just use it to keep Master alive, who knows how much is left. The way you shiver when you realize there's a long time till you hit port and you're almost out of food. It reminded me of that. I should have studied how to get by when you arrive on a deserted island with nothing. Oh. What do we do? Don't worry. There's no need to think too much about it. Sahath, do you have a plan? I don't know if you could call it a plan, but we do have, we have to do what we must. Our first priority needs to be to try and contact Chaldea, and then we can request help. Yes, that's right. But the problem is that we can't get through. I don't think the system is broken. Is it possible that if we leave this island and go elsewhere, the system will come back online? Foo, foo! That's a possibility. We lost the connection once we arrived on this island, so if we leave, it might be restored. But if we can't leave the island... I think a good way to start may be trying to find a way off this place. Yeah, Blackbeard told us that an ordinary ship wouldn't be enough. Which means that a good proper ship just might. But this island is uninhabited, right? Surely we wouldn't be able to procure such a ship. We can make one. Come again? I said we can make one, Master. We may be able to steer a ship, but we don't know how to make one. Don't worry, I know a thing or two about it. By combining my runes, I can make almost anything. I need time and materials, though. S so dependable. As far as I can tell, this island should have what we need. It seems very bountiful. Thus, we probably don't need to worry about the resources. It's the monsters that surprise me. I didn't expect to see this many stomping around like they own the place. An island's supposed to have a ruler, see? Be it human, beast, or god. So either the ruler has abandoned his duties or he has forgotten them. It's a sad thing either way. Foo! That was Foe's subtle warning that monsters are approaching. Ah, oh, they're back. Stop talking and help. Damn it, it's so hot in this armor. That's what you get for wearing such heavy protection. It's foolish to try and dress up to intimidate an opponent. You should take this opportunity to pick armor that suits your frame. Of course, even if you do, that still won't be enough to bring your grade as a knight above negative. Gah! Man, the, 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 these two are, are not a good combination. Either way, we can talk more after we beat them to the ground. I mean, drive them off. Oh, there, there goes, Mar there go Martha's violent uh, tendency towards violence again. You know, the woman who fucking beat a dragon into submission with her bare fists. Although she'd never say that, despite it being the entire truth. Fucking Martha. That's why I like ruler Martha. She just punches stuff. I was thinking maybe I should save for her, but then I thought, you know, I, I probably have enough rulers. I already have Jean and Holmes. It's not like I need, like, a full ruler team. Oh, I actually don't think Mary will get to do anything. <laughs> I think Holmes is gonna kill this thing, isn't it? Yup. God, you're good, Holmes. Despite him doing neutral damage to everything except what berserkers and moon cancers. Holmes is quite good. I think I've said that more than enough, haven't I? So we get it, John, you like using Holmes. Ah, oh, damn it. I'll let Mary take the kill. She's adorable. Hey, a Phoenix Feather. I have 19 of those things, fucking seriously. 
That's pretty good. Ah, oh, fuck my arm. Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, what the fuck did I do to this thing? <laughs> Moving it around so much today, it like, like fucked it up pretty bad. Uh, shit. E even just letting it sit here, it fucking hurts. Hey, now we got summer servants. Let's see. You know, I I gotta go with Anne and Mary again, if only because I I I like Anne's swimsuit. <laughs> I think it looks rather nice. You know, an archer would be useful here now that, you know, I, I totally ignore that there are sabers here. Oh, uh, you know, it's a good thing I brought these two. Alright, where are we? It's going to take some time to build a ship. It's not something you can do in an afternoon. Our goal. Needs to be to find a way to live on this island while we gather the materials we need live here yes I'm a little I'm a little worried about that too the climate and topography here are both completely different from that in Caldea who knows what kind of natural phenomena we might encounter it is also unclear what we'll face with the environment there's the problem of food and water will we be okay don't worry I can make almost anything you need including ships you're amazing Sahath some of the knowledge I've acquired includes how to survive, even on, an even on an uninhabited island. If you need anything, you can count on me. It might be inconvenient at first, but as we make what we need, life will get easier. <laughs> It'll be a form of training. You'll need to give it your all. Now then, I have a suggestion for everyone. Hmm, not bad. <laughs> what do you mean? It's great! What do you mean? It's great! Foul! Oh! Um, Sahath? Why swimsuits? Why? First, this island is hot, even if you're not wearing armor like Mordred. Too much heat dulls the body, even if you're a servant. And the heat affects you in combat, too. A master warrior must adjust their appearance to match their location and conditions. I've altered your spirit origins to accommodate our surroundings. It's not bad, is it? You got that right. It's nice and cool and easier to move around. <laughs> I can swing my sword around more than usual now. Without my armor, I may be stronger than King Arthur. Hmm, I need to prepare appropriate weapons for this outfit. I think I still have what I picked up that one time at Waku Waku. A knight must always have the appropriate, the most appropriate weapon. What is that? She took this. She took out this weird gun like it was the most ordinary thing in the world. And it looks really summery too. That's not fair. All oh, right, I need to change my weapon too. I'll bring out this special item I've been saving. Yeah, it's got to be this. The shield that also becomes King Arthur's ship. I'm glad I swiped it. Those two aren't talking to each other, but they are. Yes, Master. Their relationship is extremely complicated, and who knows what will happen if you get involved. It's best to just go with the flow and watch what happens. Come take a look at me. If you can't endure the heat, enjoy the heat. If the sun is strong, then use the sunlight. That's the way of a proper lady. What do you think, Master? I can use my parasol as a spear and become Lancer to Mamo chan <laughs> I'm in a swimsuit. On a tropical island, with Master! We're not just stuck here. We're not just stranded on an empty island. For me and Master, this is... Yes, this is our honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that doesn't scare me. It's a little embarrassing to show so much skin, but I can't help it. Given the situation, I must forget my role as a saint and deal with this trouble as just plain old Martha. I've never done anything like this. It's a little exciting, isn't it? I spent a lot of time on the water, but it's been a while since I've dressed up to swim. 
Master, do I look weird? It's very cute, and it looks great on you, Mary. You're all such free spirits. Foul, foul! Yes, when, I, when she said swimsuits, I was thinking competition ones. You all look great. And I, gr I agree that a swimsuit is better suited for this environment. But my one concern... Oh, hey, monsters. I understand. It's whether we can fight in these outfits or not, right? No need to worry. Even in our tropical island versions, we're still powerful servants. This is true even if our classes have changed due to our unfamiliarity with swimsuits. Now then, Master, your orders! I shall show you the power of summer! Alright, I think right here I'm gonna make a little, uh, cut, because I gotta go do something real quick. Uh, I'll see you when the battle starts. Alright, let's take out some crabs. Hey, a gold drop! <laughs> That's cool. Thanks, Anne. Oh, we also have a Chimera to fight. That's good. Boy, do I love fighting these things. John said with the most sarcasm he could muster. <laughs> Never mind, that was easy. And a gold drop. Man, I'm getting lucky with these fucking drops. Yo, a Claw Chaos and a Shell. Hmm, I'm, I'm very happy with this. Let's have Ant finish it off. I'm not just still leveling Ant and Mary Summer on my uh, personal account. I really do want to get some use out of them. They seem like they're actually. I want to say they're. I feel like they're kind of better than Ryder Ant and Mary. You know. I feel like they can do more, and they actually have a better kit for their niche or for their little gimmick. Because their gimmick, if you don't know, uh, the lower their HP, the more no powerful their Noble Phantasm is. But they don't have a Guts skill. But their Archer form does. And that's pretty good. You know, they also have a pretty good Charisma skill, too. That also increases uh, male allies. See Star Drop rate? Which I do, in, which I, which is a good skill. I'm sorry. To be honest, I didn't really believe it, but way to go, everyone! That battle was an offering I made to our future together. Did you see it, Master? It's fun to have a different role than usual. I agree, Mary. This isn't a bad change of pace. Alright, I landed a nasty strike on their body. The beach really does make things feel more exciting. Not having my staff does make me a little uneasy, no uneasy though. <sighs> Even as she said that, Martha was shadow boxing. Don't worry about it, Max. <laughs> Fate must truly love me. Everything's going my way. That's just how things work out for me. Don't you think so, Diarmuid? Uh, by the way, which one is your type? I hope you don't like the same one I do. Like what happened with Grine. Or what happened with Grine. Um, well, that's kind of a hard question to answer. I couldn't say, really. Also, I don't know why you had to say that twice. <laughs> don't worry, it was just a joke. The thing with Grine was just something that people around me set up. To be honest, I was surprised too. But this time, conditions are the same for both of us. It's a fair fight, I guess you could say. No, that's not right. It's not fair. You've got that love spot. You're going to show it off by winking at, them, at all of them, aren't you? Wink! Wink! I'll do nothing of the sort. Moreover, I would ask that you, my liege, keep your thumb out of your mouth. Uh, where are your swimsuits? Don't worry about it. Diarmuid's basically wearing a swimsuit already. Even if the girls' outfits have changed, our position hasn't. You just focus on the girls. Yeah, that's right. I agree. We men will do our best not to stand out. My mentor's trying to be calm, but she's more excited than anyone. She didn't need to change, too. That combat outfit was water-resistant anyway. That saddles it. I'm staying as far away from her as possible. I'm not getting close. Forget about the beach. 
I'm going to the mountains. Maybe I'll plant a field or something. Fow, fow! This is going to be thrilling in a lot of ways. Yes, but I think the basic plan is just as Sahaf said. Our goal needs to be to get resources to escape, and to survive until we do. For that to happen, I think we're going to need to build some new facilities. At first, it's going to be hard, I think, but I'll support you with everything I have. I'll help you make the escape ship, and I'll help you make our life here better. Let's search this island and gather materials and supplies. Alright. I think that was the last part of section 2, right? Indeed it was. So now we move on to the fun part of the event. Gathering mats to build... Uh, facilities. Now we unlock all these little grinding destinations. And our first thing... So these are development quests. They're all story based, there's no battles required for the... Uh, for these anyway. But, now we have these. Okay, so. Complete a development quest. Uh, and in an empty field stands a hut. Expand the island however you wish. So the story we get and uh, the development of the island will be based upon the plan we pick. On my personal account, I actually went with a plan B for the first project. So I think I'll go with plan A for this first one. Just because we also have uh, a uh, special battle here. Where we can get a hundred logs for literally like no effort. Uh, we actually have a lot of quests we can do, so I'll probably end this video after project after after the story quest for Project Two. But there's also a Mystic Code we can grab and a costume dress we can get for Mash. Now costume dresses are new with this new update. Um, basically, if you have a serv if you have the specific servant at max level and max ascension, you can. Uh, use this costume quest along with some ascension materials to give them a new outfit and it not only changes their outfit it changes some of their animations they even get some new voice lines too uh... so yeah it's pretty cool some servants have that like mash has i, th I think mash actually has two but we don't see the next one until uh... we start the next real part of the story which is the lost belts and then uh... I know a lot of other servants have one. I know Nero has one. Uh, Jolter has one. Even Mori, Ar uh, Archer of Shinjuku has one. Uh, I'm gonna keep fucking that up. Just saying his true name anyway. <laughs> All right, uh, let's just do this story part real quick. Let's build a cabin. After we do this, I'll discuss what materials you can gather, where, and uh, what servants you need to worry about if you want uh, the bonuses. Well, it looks like we'll be living on this island for a while. So what should we... So what should we do first? Let's see... No, no, there's no rush, Master. Once you accept the situation, you'll feel much more at ease. Just relax, we're on a tropical... Well, shit. Senpai, it's a strong squall. It's so strong it hurts. Is there anywhere we can take cover? Hey, there's a small cave in this cliff. Let's go in there for now. Alright, well, at least there's a cave we can go in. Yikes, I'm drenched. A drenched fox. Oh, with this wet t-shirt, at least now I can get all the master's attention to myself. <laughs> Tamamo, please. Ouch, is my skin turning red? I wonder if it ever rained this hard in France. Hmm, so rain is cold even in the tropics. I learned something new. Tamamo, uh, you know, Kiyohime, can I ask you for some fire? Oh, Master, you finally made up your mind, haven't you? Of course, please leave it to me. Now entrust your body, your soul, everything to me. Let me hug you and warm you to the very marrow. Kiyohime, I believe Master is saying to light a bonfire. Oh, is that so? Yes, Kiyohime, that's all I want you to do. Hey, do you guys hear something? Yep, from the back of the cave. Something. Yes, yeah, like the sound of rustling leaves. What could it be? Oh, the sound is getting closer. Please be careful. 
Something's coming from the back of the cave. Look at that dark, creeping shadow spread out, spreading out across the ground. It's like a carpet. Is that... Are those... Bugs. <laughs> well... Cool. A lot of bugs. Uh, there's no way we can use that cave now. Absolutely no way. Did someone fire their noble phantasm in there? I do remember a great destructive force being unleashed behind me while we were running. <laughs> For the sake of that person, I won't say who did it. I'm sure everyone had the same idea. <laughs> <laughs> Just kill all the bugs with your noble phantasm. Destroy the cave, too! Well, <laughs> they're watching us. The, the bugs own that cave now. <laughs> I'll send it to hell along with them. By the way, it has stopped raining. At least we're fortunate in that regard. Perhaps it's the will of God. However, such unstable weather conditions mean that another squall can happen any time. Never mind us. Master may have to con continue facing drastic temperature changes. Hmm, which means... Mikon, I've got an idea, Master. No matter what our situation, I think we need to create a home base. I agree. I think it's necessary to find a place to rest. Luckily, it looks like we can easily obtain wood. Yep, yep, Kiyohime gets it. The smell of wood is really comforting, you know. I don't mind how small it is, Master. They say home is where the heart is. Rather, we may be forced to keep our bodies close. Perhaps our shoulders may accidentally touch. Oh my, if that is the case, should I be thinking of baby names? <laughs> Kiyohime, please! How far ahead are you thinking? Please wait, I'm afraid to bring this up, but... You speak of a simple wooden dwelling. Isn't that just going to be like a stable? Huh, what are you trying to say, huh? That wooden houses are for animals? Yeah, yeah, I'm a fox, she's a snake. Uh, so what? No, um, I did not mean to say anything rude. I apologize. I just wanted to, wanted to point out that this is going to be Master's first base. Considering this is going to be the new frontier for the pioneering of this island, a house made of wood seems to be a little austere. I believe we should first use stones to build sturdy living quarters. The stability of a stone-made base is incomparable. Its defensive pow powers are also very strong. Damn it, even if, even if it's a coincidence, our opinions matched. Yep, defense is important. Hey, what about iron? Why don't we use iron to build it? It's strong and will be safe from any enemy. Good idea, right? Glance. So in conclusion, Master, I recommend a stone base. <laughs> J just, just straight up ignore her. Damn it, Father's pretending not to hear me! Everyone, you all have your opinions, but I think we should ultimately leave it up to Master's discretion. Of course, I won't have any... I won't have any objections, so please make a swift decision, Master. Foul! I'm just wondering what kind of different options having a wooden house will give. So yeah, uh, for the wooden house you need 40 wood, for the stone house you need 30 stone, and then for the iron cabin you need 50 iron. So right now let's just do this shipwreck one. I believe these are this is a daily thing, right? Oh, well maybe it gets unlocked daily. But I just realized it lasts for 15 days, so that's actually not too bad. Right, we just got sabers to deal with, and there's no like. I don't think there's any bonus drops on this event, so I on this part, so let's just do this real quick. All right, and after we get out of this, I'll <laughs> I'll, I'll do what I keep forgetting to do and explain where you can gather materials if you if you need to know. And uh, what classes give the bonuses? You know, I, I kind of wish every event would be like this, where there's just like this broad spectrum of bonus servants. That, well, I mean, eh, maybe I guess it wouldn't make sense for every event, but whatever. Oh come on, 59. 
Come on, Ibaraki, what are you doing? Oh yeah, these things just drop QP. I think except for the boss, which drops a gold chest. Yeah, these things drop a lot of QP, am I right? Yeah, 120,000 apiece. It's well worth it to do these quests, even just for the QP alone. I think you end up getting, what, like 820,000 QP from this quest in total, and that's fucking amazing. Beach flower. Oh, and he also drops QP as well. All right. We got a shell and 841,000 QP. Still quite a lot. Even though I was wrong about the number. Oh well. Alright, 100 lumber so we can do this next quest. I think I'll do the Mystic Code and the, uh, and the Mashes, like, costume dress quest off-screen. Uh, but real quick before we do the base, let's let me just go over materials. All right, so uh, we have five locations, no, uh, four locations. We have the cave, grasslands, beach, and jungle. So at the jungle, you can find lumber. At the beach, that's for stone. The grasslands, food and water, and the cave has iron. Now, at all, those, uh, at all these places, you can also find food and water as well. But if you want to just grind food and water, you're better off just going to the grasslands, because that's where they appear most plentifully. Um, now, for bonuses. Well, each one of the CEs gives you different stuff. So the three-star CE, Shiny Goddess, gives you more lumber. Twilight Memory, the four-star, gives you stone. Pirate's Party, the five-star, gives you iron. And there's one in the shop as well called Summertime Mistress, which is a 5-star. It gives you food and fresh water, plus 1. And now for classes, um, if you want a bonus for fresh water, use Shielder, Archer, and Caster. For food, use Berserker and Ruler. For Lumber, it's Lancer and Avenger. For Stone, it's Saber, Assassin, and Alter Ego. And for Iron, it's Rider and Moon Cancer. So those are the bonuses we all have. Um... I mean, grind doesn't seem like it's all that bad in this event, because every, literally everything gives a fucking bonus. Alright, so again, when you, when you start this quest, it will cost 40 lumber to use, and the other quests disappear. Uh, but yeah, let's go. Our stone, I mean, our lumber cabin. <laughs> I like how it reflects the way to say stone, because that's what I did on my personal. Oh boy. Mikon! Thank you, Master. Mmm, that new house smell. Breathes deeply. Ooh, that's good wood. Uh, hey, uh, phrasing, Tama. Just closing my eyes brings back memories of the forest. And red Tory gates. It makes my tail twitch with excitement. Oh, there's nothing sexual in that statement, okay? <laughs> oh my. To make something like that for someone like me. This must be love. A love nest. <laughs> I know I'm being repetitive, but please allow me to say it once more. I adore you, Master. Now let us begin everything from this love nest. Can I go back? <laughs> oh, Kiyohime. Thank you, you uh, little yandere snake. She scares me a little bit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, anyway! Alright, so we have one more project to do. 
So we'll do this one real quick, do the last, do the story part. Then I'll call it an episode for this first part. And I'm going to do the rest of the stuff off screen. And by off screen, I mean I'm going to be streaming a little later today, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Senpai, did you know? The amount of water a human needs each day is 3 liters. Actually, since we are in this blazing tropical heat, you should drink more. You're well informed, Mesh. Hydration is important. It's a life-threatening matter, so please be more aware of it. We've been collecting rainwater and drawing water from different places. However, I'm starting to think it's all a bit inefficient, so... I've discussed the matter with Sahas. Mm-hmm. Mm, she has indeed. For now, we've decided to create a watering place somewhere. It'll be a place to preserve fresh water. My runes will help in the process, too. What we need, Master, is to decide its shape. A watering place. The obvious shape would be a well. It should be easy to make it with wood. A well is fine, but wouldn't the wood rot? I think it would be more durable if it were built with, if it were built with bricks. And it would look nice, too. Water is important. I agree with Mash. Of course, water is your lifeline out at sea. Once it runs out, all you can do is pray. Either you wait till you die, either wait till you die, or it rains. Y you sound like you know what you're talking about. So here's my suggestion: a watering place needs to be practical. It needs to be in the most practical shape, which means a faucet would be good. Huh? I have been impressed by it ever since I've seen it. At, I've seen it at Caldea. Typo. If you turn on the faucet, water flows out. It's such an amazing system. Goodness, if a faucet had been installed on our ship, maybe those ugly mutinies and water disputes would never have occurred. I don't think that was the root of the problem. A charming wooden well, right, Master? We will be using, of, using it for a long time, so wouldn't a brick well be the most versatile choice? By the way, I heard a rumor that there's a faucet somewhere that pours out orange juice. I've even heard there's one that pours out udon broth from... Wait, what did you just say? Uh, well, uh, time for QR Toria since you started talking about food. Thanks, Anne. <laughs> well, if we had the supplies, none of the choices would be impossible. It's your decision, Master. Alright, for, ex for the sake of doing this quick, I'm going to be making the uh, wooden well. Uh, but I still need to get water. So we're going to be going to the beach. Or grassland. Oh, actually, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> cool. Man, I thought I'd have to do another grinding part, but guess not. Man, that, that 100 wood lasted me really well. So now I got, what, 10 left? Peering into the well's depths. S something wrong, Kiyohime? Did she just sigh? Oh, Master. Is it not to your liking? Oh, no, it's not that at all. I'm deeply moved by this wonderful well. In fact, I'm so happy surrounded by Master's love and kindness. I feel like I'm going to explode. I was simply reflecting on my emotions. Master, have you heard of a gentleman by the name of Ono no Takamura? Who? Uh, oh, no, what have I done? to have uttered the name of a ge another gentleman in your presence. Please do not misunderstand. I am neither unfaithful nor frivolous. No, I, I'd ne I would never believe you are unfaithful. Believe me. I swear in my own life that I consider his existence less important to me than an ant, and I merely referenced his name for the purpose of knowledge and... Uh, who is he exactly? Ahem. <clears throat> oh yes, he was a court noble famous for his poetry and writing. A legend has it that he descended into the realm of the dead every day and night via a well to help Lord Enma with his duties. My own father used to warn me, don't shout into a well, the, we the dead will drag you down. Perhaps wells are really, really are linked to the netherworld. That's scary. Actually, I find it comforting. After all, even if I expire and am forced to return to the throne of heroes, I can still use this well to come back to you, master. You know what? I'll definitely come back. You've poured so much love for me into this well. I don't think there's a more suitable place. So remember, Master. No matter what happens, you mustn't destroy this well. 
If it does get destroyed, I shall come back to haunt you. She just has to come back no matter what. Yo, no, no one tell Kiyohime I didn't build the well for her. I built it. I built it just because I had some extra lumber laying around. Shh! Don't, don't tell her. Also, I love that as a lancer. <laughs> even though she changes classes to a lancer, Kiyohime still has madness enhancement. But from her normal form, it's fucking ranked up to EX. All right, food fighter. Oh, we got ruler Mar. Hey, two rulers and a berserker. You know what? This is fun. I think probably the most offensive ruler is definitely Martha. But you know, Holmes is still good. We build a place to live and a place for water. I thought we were doing well, but. This is the biggest mistake I've ever made. How can I have not noticed? We're almost out of food. Servants don't need to eat. If anything, food is like a mood stabilizer for us. However, that's not the case for Master. This is a big problem. How'd you guys get by so far? We've been eating the rations we brought from Caldea, but they're about to run out as well. We tried to conserve them, but... That just means we'll have to procure food ourselves. A lack of food is a serious issue. It doesn't just affect our master, but it lowers our morale as well. I thought Sahath might be able to help, but I haven't seen her for a while. So for now, we'll have to rely on ourselves. Let's see if we can find something to eat. Hmm, all the plants are so different from the ones in Bethany. I'm not sure which ones are safe to eat. But alas, it is best to remain calm in situations like this. Nothing will go wrong if we, go wrong if we stick to our instincts. I have a bad feeling about this. Master, why do you have a look- why do you look like you have a bad feeling about this? Shit! Uh... No reason! There's no need to worry. I used to feed all kinds of weird things to my little brothers, and they were mostly fine. That doesn't make me feel better, Martha! In fact, they prayed even harder after they ate. They even had tears in their eyes when they did. Yeah, I, I think the reason- I think they were praying, uh, to God. Please, God, keep this mad woman away from us! Please stop her from shoving weird shit in our mouths! That's probably what their prayer was. Fervently praying, tears streaming from their eyes every night. <laughs> Please help me! <laughs> the look on all those tough little boys' faces remind me of how he, p of how he prayed over the suffering and sins of mankind. So don't worry, and don't disobey me! My gut feeling is pretty good at times like this, you know? M Martha, are you sure you don't have madness enhancement? I don't know what their tears really meant, but I do know what that whatever happened, Martha didn't eat any of those things herself. Yeah. F for now, I'll get going. Please, wait for me, Master. Wait! Don't, don't, don't leave me with this mad woman alone, Mash! Take me with you! I'm afraid to be alone with Martha. <laughs> no! Take me with you. I'm sorry, Master. I should have read up on how to survive outdoors. I could barely find anything. All I managed to do was bring Fo back with me. He was wandering around over there. <laughs> Fo! No, we're not gonna eat you, Fo. Looks like Fo just realized something. <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant, Fo. I bring you back. I brought you back here because you're fluffy and fun. I didn't bring you back for your calories. I can't say I found much either. Just a few different kinds of fruit. Oh, well done. What are they? I've never seen those shapes and colors before. I don't like that grin. Oh no, I don't trust your instincts! You've got a problem with my instincts? It's never been wrong, it's fine. They all look like coconuts. But upon closer inspection, one is thorns, one is fluorescent pink, and one smells terrible. I'm getting kind of worried. At the very least, I don't think you'll die instantly from eating them. Just spit it out if your tongue feels numb. Got that? That doesn't make me feel better. Do the same if your stomach feels strange after you swallow. If you're having trouble regurgitating it, let me know. I use a special method to, um, knock it right out of you. Meaning you'll punch me in the fucking stomach to make me throw up. Keep her away from me. <laughs> I think the most terrifying person here is you! 
Foe! Foe! Foe, I'm gonna die! Ahem. <laughs> anyway, that'll tell us whether it's something ominous and deadly, at least. Yeah, if I eat it. Good, good thinking, Martha. As a saint, I can swear that to you. Trust me. Okay, looks like you have no objections, so let's get started. No, I have plenty of objections here! You're just not gonna hear them, are you? Go ahead, Master. So I really have to eat these on my own? Of course, I'll try them with you, Senpai. We're in this together. Oh, Mash. Thank you for suffering alongside me. Oh, but wait. These look like coconuts, so the shells must be made like coconuts, too. I'll go get something to cut this open. Hiya! She chopped the top off with just her hand. Okay, you should be able to drink from it now. No need to thank me. Okay, here I go. Ah! This is... it's spicy. Just as you expect from something with covered in thorns, it's spicier than a habanero. My whole body started to sweat instantly. Well, that's a shame. Still, I suppose it'll make some good seasoning. Anyway, let's try the pink one next. Matthew! Now she's just calling out saints' names. Here I go. Ugh! It's tasteless. It's completely tasteless. And the texture's all weird and dry. If I had to compare it to something, it's like eating an eraser. It's probably okay if it's nutritious, but it's not its not something I'd eat on my own. Ever. Huh? That's strange. Normally, just one thing I find turns out to be edible. Maybe my intuition's grown dull. Well, on to the last one. Moses! Uh, okay. Let's try this. Ugh. Hey, why aren't you saying anything? I'm pretending to not, not to notice the horrible stench that came after I opened it. This is... It's edible. I guess. What? Then it's fine, right? What's that look on your face? I guess the best way to describe the taste is... Spicy for spicy salted squid. It really doesn't taste like something that you expect from a fruit. I suppose you could eat it if you forced yourself to, but that actually just makes it all the more disgusting. But it is edible, right? That means more choice in an emergency. Good! I have to say, John Mash. John Mash, you're both too picky anyway. People in the past ate things that tasted a lot worse, you know. Just be grateful to the Lord that your food tastes like anything at all. That didn't sound very convincing. Thank you for the shit fruits, Martha. But to tell you the but to tell you the truth, it wasn't just instinct this time. There was e there was a reason I thought this last one might be safe to eat. Why would that be? What's that? I saw a crab eating one that fell on the ground. It wouldn't do that if it was poisonous, right? Doesn't that mean though that it's crab food? That's right. And we're spreading the smell everywhere, which means. Damn it, Martha! I knew it! There they are! Oh, more hungry lost lambs over there, too. Maybe they're in the same situation we are. But let's take them out before we get eaten, Master. Damn it, Martha! Why'd you bring us crab food? Now yeah, they're gonna want it. I mean, Mash, just, just toss it to them. Can we avoid this just by tossing them the fucking nasty fruit? <laughs> I guess not, huh? I guess we kind of smell like it now, too, so they're not going to leave us alone. Shit. Alright. Wow, another good. I'm getting pretty lucky with these gold drops today. No. 
Oh god, she cracks her fucking knuckles. Ooh. Ah, damn it. Hey, they dropped food and water. That'll be useful for the next section. How much bonus stuff I have for food and water? Ah, oh, plus. Oh, it's plus three for each. Nice. Let's try this. Of course, no crits. Hey, another gold. Well, that was from the boss one, so makes sense that I dropped the gold one. Wow! Three gold drops. What is that? Three shells? That's impressive. Damn. That's not bad. It's a shame I don't have any servants that need the shells. Gotcha fucking denying me even one summer servant. Although, what else is new? Still for food and water, I think. Actually, you know, let's bring Tamamo. Yeah, that should be alright. I don't think Master's food shortage can be solved with those mysterious fruits. Considering the taste and the fact that enemies attack every time we bite into one, at most we can use those emergency rations. As for the other sources of food, well... Oh no, I didn't know we were in that much trouble. I guess we don't even have any bread. I'm sorry, but I can't help you even if you keep staring at me like that, Master. I wish I could be of some help. Huh? You're all looking for some food. I'm just about to go freshwater fishing. Wanna come with me? Fishing, huh? That does sound like a solution. But I have no experience. Besides, what about the equipment? What, are you afraid you won't be able to reel any in? Don't worry. Best thing about fishing is even a beginner can catch some. I can make rods for you. One each from Ash and John, right? Piece of cake. Uh, as expected of a member of the Back Spears boys. I've never been fishing myself, but it sounds like so much fun. Freshwater style? Oh, what refined taste! There's no way I can pass this up. It'll be like summer vacation in Japan all over again. I was thinking to go find some wild grass for Master, but you changed my mind. I'd like to come with you, too. Wow, got a lot more people now. Gotta make four more rods, huh? Well, I don't mind. The more the merrier. That's fishing for you. Uh, I see. So this squirming thing is the bait. Yep, recommended for beginners too. Once you get enough experience, you can do without it. Do you want me to put it on for you, Mash? N no, I'm fine. Thank you, though. I can manage something like this by myself. I don't want to cause you any trouble. You put it on a hook like this. It's okay, Mash. Just relax. <gasps> I did it! I did it, Senpai! Good job. Head pats for you. Oh no, you don't have to. I only did what everyone else should be able to do. I was just too inexperienced. Fishing is a hit or miss business. Taking it easy is the right manner to enjoy it. Sitting next to Master, looking out over the water together as time passes us by. For me, that alone is enough. Fishing can be such an elegant upscale pastime as well. Oh, I see someone here gets it. I agree with you. I guess knowledge does come with age. 
Ah, I dare you to say that's the half as well. You know what? How about you drop dead? <laughs> that's exactly the smartest thing you could have said there, Koo. Oops. Well, pardon me. Uh, today, Tamama was elegant and classic. This is my first time. It's okay to try without bait, right? Maybe I'll go ahead and do just that. I meant it's okay for experienced fishermen like myself, though. Well, anyway, up to you. Like what Miss Fox there said, you should be fine as long as you give it a try and keep a, keep a line dropped. Well, Master, let's sit back and enjoy ourselves. I'm quite serious here. We must catch some big fish so Senpai can get some proper nutrients. I can't catch any at all. Try to hide your presence, Shieldy. <laughs> so frustrating. Though I said spending time with Master would be enough, the fact that it's taking so long to catch something is making me a little... What, are you giving up already? You're less patient than I thought you were. You haven't caught anything yet, eh, either. I'm fine because I enjoy the process. Besides, I'm not hungry yet. There might be a problem with the rod. Maybe I should get in the stream directly and try my luck at spearfishing like a true lancer would. Oh, that's not good. A sophisticated woman that wouldn't do something wouldn't do that. To be frank, it's a job more suited for the cat. I, as a fancy mannequin, cannot stoop to that level. Also, it seems you haven't noticed yet, so I'm gonna tell you. The princess over there caught something. The princess over there? Here you go. <laughs> I just caught another one. Oh, look at you. Staring at me with those don't-eat-me eyes. All right, all right. I'll let you go, so don't get caught ever again, okay? <laughs> so this entire time, Marie has been the only one catching fish. And every time she catches one, she tosses it back because it looks like it doesn't want to be eaten. Marie, you're a very sweet girl and I love you. <laughs> but we need fish, please. That's what she's been doing for the whole time. Looks like looks as if fish come willingly to get caught. So being unselfish is the secret of fishing after all? I don't think any fish have eat me eyes, Marie. Oh, look at the bend of that rod! Ah! What is this? A big one? Let me give you a hand. I'm coming right now, so hang in there. Master! We should help her out too. Looks kind of fun. I feel I'll be dragged into the river if I lose my concentration. All together now. One, two, three! Good, I see it now. One more should do it. Here we go! It's a whopper of a fish! Not exactly a fish. Hmm. Definitely not don't eat me eyes. Would you say that this one looks like it wants to eat us? What on earth have you reeled in? <laughs> oh, Marie. Marie is such a sweet, precious cinnamon roll. I love her. She has to be one of my other favorite servants. I'd say she's definitely like my top three. With uh, Nero and Passion Lip as well. They're all adorable. Marie is precious, though. Viva la France. What's up, my homies? She's great. <laughs> You know, when I was actually uh, rolling the gotcha on uh, my personal account for this first, for the first part of the summer, I actually ended up getting another copy of Marie Ryder. <laughs> so now I actually have her MP3 on my personal account. I couldn't help but laugh about that. I'm actually trying to level level her up on my personal account as well. But uh, you know, I have the same problem there that I do here. I need more Ryder shit. Also, I'm kind of wondering, why why are starfish in a freshwater lake in the middle of the forest? This island has some weird-ass fucking ecology.
This should finish this. That's a lot of water. It's a 36 water now. It's pretty good. Got another snake eye too. You know what? I've used both of these servants already. Let's bring Ku along. Guess I'll hang around and help you look for food. After inviting you all out on that unsuccessful fishing trip, it's the least I can do. Well, thank you, Ku Hulane. Your help means a lot to us. You know, the more normal, the normal way to procure food is to hunt. So let's go hunting! I see, so that's why you asked us to tag along. This'll be a walk in the park. Oh, your majesty, why are you here? It's useless asking me that question. Hunting is a nice hobby, especially since I am an archer now. I will not let any prey escape me. It would be perfect if my trustworthy horses La Marais and Dun Stallion were here. My hound Caval, too. Well, well, let's see how good you are then. Oh, I just got a glimpse of a deer in the lee of that of the mountain right over there. What shall we do? Should I have Mary chase the deer so I can shoot at it when it jumps out? No, let me try this time around. I like to warm up since I have not been hunting for a while. Now, watch me. X? No! Stop! Stop! What are you doing? What? Don't you want me? What the hell are you doing? Well, when your game hides in the lee of a mountain or a dense forest, then completely eradicating the surroundings would be one way to get at it, wouldn't it? No! It's not something I always do, you know. There are times when I need to, though. That's all. Child of Light, am I breaking Celtic hunting etiquette in some way? This goes way beyond simple etiquette! No one bothered bringing it up to you?! Don't be ridiculous. Are you saying this is an absurd thing to do? Yes! When Agravain came with me on hunts, he would say with his lifeless eyes, Impressive, your majesty. You certainly gave it your all. Are you saying that was all just lip service? Well, not lip service per se. How should I put it? Wow, so extra. Much caliber. Uh, nothing. Uh, I said nothing. Anyway, we should ban the use of noble phantasms. Let us deal with that deer. Come on, Anne. It's hunting time. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Let's show everyone how skilled we are. As expected of Artoria, birds, rabbits, you caught a lot. Well, I did pretty good for a class I'm not used to. You did a good job too, Mash. Anna's good at shooting birds too. I mean, out on the open sea, that's the only target there is. For the time being, this game should be enough. So Anne and Mary shot the deer. That's wonderful. This was a good hunt. I think all this should temporarily solve our problem with the food shortage. Kuhulain, is that spear of yours an ornament? You look like you slept through the whole thing. <laughs> I was thinking about lending a hand, but I sniffed something out, so I was thinking about that. Sniff something out? Oh. See, here comes a big one. Looks like this is its hunting field, too. Seeing as how we snatched its prey, it's not like we can slip away quietly. I'll pay the hunting fees for the thrust of this spear! Thanks, Ku. <laughs> Thank you for warning us, Ku. Appreciate it, man.
All right, got some dragons. I thought you get Gable charged up. I don't think that's gonna happen. You know, I, I like this. I like this event's battle music. It's really nice. We have a giant mount- oh, a female mountain dragon. Oh, no crit coup. Okay, we can actually probably finish this right now. Maybe. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think I want a dragon's reverse scale from this. <laughs> yeah. How many of those do I have? I have 11 of them. It's not too bad. First ever happy barbecue fiesta for Master John and servants. I'm not opposed to the idea of having a barbecue, considering all the extra meat we got. But still, that sign seems very unnecessary. No, no. What's important is the feel of it, the atmosphere. Hmm, meat roasted over rune fire sure has a unique taste. We were wondering where you went. Didn't think you'd be off hunting alone. So much for us running around. Yes, now we have so much meat we can't even finish. She already knows that we were short on food. She's so amazing. Oh, Master. I cannot believe I didn't notice you were starving. Shame on me. The next time you cannot bear your hunger any longer, will you please let me know? I am prepared to give up this body any time for you. I recommend my tail first. I'm not eating you, Kiyohime. Well, there's still a lot of meat left right now. <laughs> that is quite true. Then here, Master, please have some deer meat that I slowly roasted with my fire. Say, ah... Uh... Rune fire this, my fire that. Such unfamiliar terms flying around. I guess starting a fire is a simple task for those two. Well, they are indeed very talented individuals. However, does this flavor actually differ depending on the fire used? I did try to compare them, but with my unsophisticated palate, I could not tell. M maybe it's just the feel of it? Well then, how about something like this? Karna? <sighs> Understood. If that is what the Master desires, I shall be glad to help. Eye beams?! <laughs> this will be charred meat, not char grilled meat. I tried to add the types of fires. I tried to add to the types of fires, but dear me. More than enough is too much, I suppose. I miscalculated the temperature. I apologize, Master. Uh, don't, don't worry about it, Launcher. Hey, do not waste food! Oh, Martha's finally put up her fists. That stance isn't jujitsu. It must be some form of street fighting. <laughs> Why are you so happy about it? I'm not going to hit you just because you overroasted some meat. Then why are your fists up? Really? Are you sure? 
I apologize. Nom nom. I have to say, all the meat tastes great. But as a cooking method, barbecue is simply a bit too sloppy. Surely there's no denying that now? <laughs> oh boy. Alright, another piece of St. Quartz. Alright, so yeah, the next quest is locked until we complete, complete Project 7. We're on Project 3, so I'll wait a little bit to do that one. Uh, before I do this, how much quartz do I have? I do have three St. Quartz. So what I want to do, real quick, I want to do a single on the Summer Banner and see if we get anything. Um, this ended up being quite a long episode, didn't it? Alright, so let me just do some friend point summons real quick until I get a three star. And then we'll go from there. Nope. Alright, like I said, I'm gonna do the all the grindy stuff off screen. So hopefully be able to get that done. And then uh when we start up the next episode, I'll just uh watch the rewatch the scenes in my room. Oh, I was hoping it was gonna be a gold card, but now it's just, just Jekyll. Alright, so I'll call it an episode here. I'll see you guys in the next one when we continue on with the summer event. See you then. Bye!